Well, welcome back with the Tropics forecast. I'm just, again, just going to combine them all into the same video, mostly because there's so much of it. And the Tropical Depression 16 got a name, so there's that. Um, but anyways, Hurricane Grace with 90 mile an hour winds. Honestly, this thing should definitely get retired because of what it did with... Well, mostly because of the timing of it going into Haiti after that quake. But we're looking at a Cat 2, maybe Cat 3 landfall. 105 mile per hour winds upon landfall. May try to go up to 115. Can't rule out another 10 knots. Or well, 10 miles. Um, not knots. Um, 50 mile an hour wind tropical storm just north of Mexico City. 35 mile per hour wind tropical depression. And it's looking at a very good chance of reforming in the Pacific um, it may not even dissipate completely before getting into the Pacific, um, but satellite imagery, um, this thing would be this, um, thumbnail, but this isn't the biggest threat to land right now. Um, actually, no, I'll have this be thumbnail. Um, but this is not the biggest threat to, well, this is the biggest threat to Mexico right now, but this is, a, this, um, but because, actually, the full moon Sunday. So this could very well be one of the bigger threats to land. Um, no, screenshot cannot be saved. Oh my god. There we go. Better save that. Anyways, there's models, and this thing is definitely looking like it's going to reform. Um, actually, let's go to the forecast right now. There's still that system trying to pop up in the Pacific. Well, not the, in the Atlantic. Um... And then, then there's the Pacific. Okay. And there's another system. Hello, what? Okay. That might be an issue. Um, but anyways, let's go back to up to date. We'll likely end up with final update on Linda and Fred. Um, so there's that. But Tropical Storm Henry. This one we're definitely going to be talking about probably for the next 3-4 minutes. But Cat 1, 75, 85, 85, 75 mile per hour wind hurricane, landfall in Long Island on Sunday. This is not good, especially with the fact that it's going to be full moon on Sunday, which means high tide is going to be higher than usual. Also, low tide will be lower than usual. But again, with the wobble in the moon's orbit, that could also have an effect, too. Um, but let's hope that this thing slams during low tide, because that could be a saving grace for the storm surge. But do not hope on low tide. Evacuate accordingly. Honestly, by Sunday, there should be anyone on this island. Because of the storm... Uh, st st uh, because of the storm surge threat. And honestly, if it wasn't for this, I'd say no one should be on Cape Cod because of the angle of everything. But it actually depends on what it's going to be like up here. Um, so we're not there yet. But it's likely going to be post-tropical over there. Um, but no one should be on Long Island. Um, some of the models are trying to have this be a Sandy-like storm. Which is not going to be good for sure. Tropical storm on the um, Connecticut, New Mexico, uh, no, the Connecticut, Massachusetts border, where it dips actually. And someone mentioned that they're from New London and they're probably curious about how this is going to go for them. So I'm going to check this out and it's like, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, New London, yeah. I'm going to let them know that they're going to have to evacuate immediately. They got till Sunday to evacuate. Um, and going north will not help them. They have to go. <laughs> this is not going to do good. And Providence is going to get slammed. Okay, this is not going to do good. Um, but, I again, I don't expect the storm surge to go that far inland because, well, the Appalachians... And that could really tear this thing apart, which is good. Yeah, post-tropical cyclone in Vermont with 35 mile per hour winds. And 30 mile per hour winds as it goes offshore of Maine. So yeah, so this thing's going to be post-tropical real quick. 
um, after landfall because of the mountains, which is a good thing. Do not let your guard down on it, though, but that is going to be a good thing. Um, but satellite imagery, it is fighting wind shear. There is hurricane watches and tropical storm watches for the entire southern coast of, the, of New England and New York. Well, the entire coast of New York, which is not that much. Same as, and then there's Rhode Island, Connecticut, and Massachusetts, all under hurricane watches. Those will be upgraded to warnings. And this has not updated yet. Um, now we got... Um, final update on Fred, final update on Linda, and then we'll go to Omasis. Just to lay these to rest, yeah. Final update there from last night, 30 mile per hour winds would be over here. Again, 30 mile per hour winds, satellite imagery, yeah, this thing's gone. Um, but it did sat it did saturate the ground out ahead of Henry, which could pose a major th a flood threat because of that. Um, but Linda is now post tropical cyclone, so that means final update. Um, but 40, 40, 40, it's maintaining that 40, 35, going through Hawaii, 30 mile per hour winds on the other side of Hawaii due to the mountains of Hawaii, well, volcanoes, um, but yeah, this thing is remnant low, cannot rule out a few showers for Hawaii, but don't expect much, but any rain that comes from that will help with the drought conditions in Hawaii, and then there's models. Now, we're on to the final storm. As soon as this thing loads. Omes. I think it's Omes. I don't know. 40 mile per hour winds. 45. 45. May peak briefly at 50 mile an hour winds. Then 40 mile per hour winds there. There's impacting some a couple islands of Japan. And then going for South Korea as a 25 mile per hour wind tropical depression. But yeah, then there's satellite imagery. So, with that, that does seem to be a fright now. Um, if you're on those islands, you might want to prep accordingly. Um, if you're on Hawaii, you might, might want to prep accordingly. Because despite it being a remnant low, it's still look, looking to pack 40, 35, 40 mile per hour winds. And the gusts being at least 10, 20, mi 20 miles higher than that. Fred's out of the way, but could still pose a little bit of a rain threat for Nova Scotia, so prep accordingly. And in these two, that's where the evacuations are going to have to come into play. Um, especially for the, the little bit, that coast of Mexico that's going to have landfall later on today into tomorrow morning. And then Sunday with Henry. I will stream the landfall of Henry. Grace, I won't be able to because the access to uh, uh, Mexican sites is just near nearly impossible for me right now because I mostly just don't know what to look up. But I will be able to stream the landfall of Henry. So, with that, that does seem to be it for right now. Stay safe. See you in the next video. Bye.